second pour where we kind of continue to review a whiskey we did on a previous episode. Yeah. So my name's Jeff and of course I'm Zane. So today we're gonna continue our review on this is S Q R R L. Squirrel! Squirrel! Uh, it's a peanut butter peanut butter whiskey, whiskey right? Yeah. So we're gonna do our second pour. A second pour. And so and then while he's pouring that, hey, be sure to uh, like and subscribe on this or also, go back and watch our previous episode this week where we talk about movie monsters or our best movie monsters of pop culture of all time, right? Yeah, that's right. And you can do that by clicking on this link right here. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and here we go. Okay, so. All right, so you know as I do, peanut butter whiskey is this new faddish thing, right? It's in everything. There's a new peanut butter whiskey coming out just about every month. At least it feels that way. Yeah, right. And so we have held off on trying peanut butter whiskeys mainly because we kind of feel like whiskey is whiskey. Whiskey's whiskey. And when you add flavor to it, it's no longer whiskey, right? Isn't that right, Rochester? Right, That's Rochester. Because nobody would want to add flavoring to whiskey. I mean, it's already good by itself. Yeah. But, you know, Jim Beam decided to jump into the marketplace of peanut butter whiskey. So we thought, you know, if Jim Beam's willing to jump in. Then I guess we should try it. We should at least try it. So. Squirrel is a new peanut butter whiskey made by Jim Beam, and we thought, you know what? It's distributed out of Chicago, but it's coming from Jim Beam, so it is kind of a whiskey, right? Yeah. Now, at first glance, this stuff is really oily. Yeah, I, you probably can't see it, but there there are legs behind this for miles. Yeah, I mean, it is like it might be one of the oiliest whiskeys I've seen in a while. <laughs> yeah, no, it really is. Um, it doesn't drink that way because it just doesn't seem to. And, and maybe it's just the sugars in it, because I mean, to yeah. be clear, it is extremely sweet, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's sweet, and I, like I said, it, it tastes like a praline, and smells like a praline. I think you're right. I think you nail it when you, it's like a turtle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, a little bit of caramel, butterscotch, peanuts, you know? Yeah, it, it has a but, obviously peanut butter, but the buttery side of it is very strong. It, it's super strong, clearly. Now, in the bottle does say it is 38, 35% alcohol, so it is 70 proof. Yeah. Um, most of those are coming in that I've looked at. Other peanut butters are around 60 proof, so this is a little bit more proof in it. Um, it does have some natural flavors and some caramel coloring, so they definitely are putting a fake tan on this thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, first impressions, I, I, I enjoyed the flavor, but uh, I'm not interested really in... Drinking it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just... I think it, it's a great fad whiskey. Yeah. I think, you know, if you're wanting something, you know, there's always dessert wines. I think this is what I would consider a dirt dessert whiskey. You know, you have buddies coming over, yeah, right? Buddies they don't over. like bourbons and stuff like that. You're like, hey, try this. And they'll be like, oh, that's weird. And who knows? They might actually. Would I drink this all the time? I know there's a lot of guys out there recently that we've heard talking about, like, they make peanut butter whiskeys like their daily drink. Yeah. I'm like, man, I don't want that much. I here. mean, technically, my second pour was while we were discussing in the episode. Yeah, that's right. That is actually my, I got, this one is really, this is really my, our third pour. This is actually my third pour. Uh, maybe your seventh or eighth pour of the day of but, whiskeys. <laughs> but the thing is, it's, it's getting kind of to me a little bit. Yeah, it's a little too sweet. It's yeah. a lot. I mean, yeah. it, basically you're drinking a, I would think a Reese's cup. I mean, it is actually better when you have the chocolate and the Reese's pieces. Yeah, I, I know we tried it on the episode with some yeah. Reese's and when you throw some chocolate in with that, it is definitely a different, uh, it's definitely a different treat, I guess. But I think that's why I still lean on as a dessert whiskey. Yeah. It, oh man, I'm not gonna sit around the, the fire pit outside with my buddies and drink peanut butter whiskey. I, no. Uh, I, I do know a lot of people on this fad are just like, I just can't get enough just yeah. peanut butter whiskey. And, and granted, Squirrel may taste different than uh, uh, some of the other ones that have been out, of course. Yeah, but, we haven't tried all the other peanut butter whiskeys. But I think it's safe to say that the flavor palettes are gonna be similar. I think it's safe to say that at the end of the day, this whole peanut butter whiskey movement thing will be gone in about a couple of years. I, I mean, I would think so. I mean, I just don't see it sticking around. Yeah, I mean, uh, this isn't going to be the next Fireball. Let's put it that way. Fireball? Is that whiskey? No, well, some people think so. Isn't that right, so. Rochester? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. But, I mean, is it a bad whiskey? Okay, no. I mean, look, this is executed well for what it's supposed to be. That's what I think. Yeah, I think I, one thing that attracted me to buy this one over the other ones was, one, it was new, but two, the bottle was a little less in your face. Okay. And it's got a squirrel on it. I mean, that's kind of fun, you know, and it says on top here, extra nutty. So 
If you really like <laughs> peanut butter, I'm yeah. and I love peanut butter. Oh yeah, me too. So I'm expecting it to be really peanut butter, and from the nose, it is really peanut yeah, butter. It, it smells better in, than I would say than the flavor overall because of how sweet it is. But I would dare say I don't even think I taste the oak. Now uh, this is still an American whiskey produced by Jim Beam, and they're adding this peanut butter flavoring into there. I'm really having a hard time pulling out the Jim Beam out of this or whatever whiskey they've used to blend it with. Yeah, no, it's... I just get a lot of sweet, sugary... It's sweet, sugary, peanut peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. So, I mean, I would I recommend this? I don't know. I mean, it's not a bad whiskey. It's not a great whiskey. I wouldn't say if you're jumping into whiskey, this is the thing you're going to buy to make you want to start drinking whiskey. Um, maybe, you know, honestly, I mean, maybe there's somebody who doesn't drink a lot of whiskey, you bring this out, they might like it. Yeah, let's put it on our one to five scale. One to five scale. Uh, you know, so one is like, I am, I want this for my collection. It's going in the cabinet. Five is like, you know, it's not it, that it's terrible. Not gonna, I might have it, but, but maybe yeah. not. So I think this one is, is a strong five. I would, I would agree with you a five. Yeah, I, I'm not going to say this is not good. In fact, if, if, if we come up with something we don't like, We'll rate it below our scale. Yeah, I will throw it into like the six, seven, eight. Yeah. Don't buy this crap. I, I just think this is a fun thing to do. I think it's fun. It's a good little dessert whiskey. You got a group of friends around. Hey, you guys ever had peanut butter whiskey before? Yeah. The novelty is worth the price of the. Bottle. And then you introduce them some really good whiskey. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. And they know the difference. And and uh, but I mean, as far as kind of this fad, trendy little thing, it's not a bad thing. No. I think if you want to go out, I wouldn't spend a ton of money on it. I think this bottle sells for about twenty bucks. Yeah, and that's that's why I can say it's a five. Yeah. It's because it doesn't, it's not gonna break the bank. No, and you're not gonna feel like I just blew a lot of money over it. Yeah, and it, it'll be worth it the, the, the one time or the three times yeah. that friends come over that you'll be able to be like, hey, you gotta try this out and actually get to bust it out. I suspect when I put this in the whiskey vault, it will be still in there next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's because we're bougie. But Because you know, we're bougie and Blanton. Bougie as F. Blanton tends to overshadow this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so. no, for sure. But other than that, you know, hey, um, Comment down below. Let us know what you think. If you had peanut butter whiskeys that you think might be something we should try, we'd be willing to try them. And if you've had this and other peanut butter whiskeys, um, let us know what you think the differences are. That would be a big one. Yeah, we. Uh, to be completely honest, we're not the type of people who've just tried every whiskey, and we have definitely not tried every peanut butter whiskey. This is the yeah. first time we've actually jumped in to try it because it was just a special episode we did, yeah. and we wanted to do something a little different. Um, would I go out and buy this next week to put in my cabinet? No. No, I wouldn't. No. Um, but you know what? Hey, we had to try it. And so, hey, you know, if this helped you out, I'm great. If this made you decide you want to try it or not, great. <laughs> if you decide, you know what, I'm glad I didn't blow my 20 bucks on this, that's great too. So in the meantime, please be sure to like, subscribe, and yeah. uh, hey, and don't forget to go watch our other episodes, yeah. especially the one on monsters. And we've done a lot of Halloween episodes this yeah. month. So and just we appreciate you taking the time to sit in with yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely. So in the meantime, you guys continue to be cool and uh, try some whiskey and check us out next week with our next whiskey review, right? Our next whiskey review. In the meantime, hey, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>